Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And today, we have news of a recent interview that Tyson Fury gave to IFL TV. And in that interview, Tyson was reported to have said, well, we saw him say, Tyson said he plans on having just three more fights. He may have just three more fights. The self-styled Gypsy King is scheduled to face unbeaten but unheralded, unheralded German Tom Schwartz, 24-0, at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. This article is by Ring24, by the way. Fury plans on fighting again in September 28th, meaning he could be retired as early as the end of the year. I don't know if they've done their maths right. I don't know if they've done their maths right. He may hang up his gloves after just after three more fights. Schwartz is the next one. That's in June. Then the fight after that, September 28th. So I don't think they'll be fitting in another fight in between September and December the 31st. Although, I suppose, theoretically, it's possible. But I find that highly unlikely. Anyway, let's proceed. If the 30-year-old Fury is serious about his imminent retirement, it will likely mean the highly anticipated rematch with WBC's Deontay Wilder, who we fought to a controversial draw last December, will never happen. A super fight with the unified IBF, WBA, WBO champion, Anthony the Landlord Joshua, would also fall by the wayside. I'm going to be very active this year. I'm going to have three fights and then I'm going to be gone. He told IFL TV. Fury recently signed a broadcasting deal with ESPN in the US, allegedly allegedly worth 80 million. I think that figure is inflated by the way. But anyway. Meanwhile, Fury has been touting the credentials of Schwartz, who is right widely regarded as an inferior opponent. This isn't a road saying defense. This is a dangerous, hungry lion who is coming to knock me out, Fury said. He's got 16 knockouts and 24 wins. I think he's as good a boxer that's out there, to be honest. As good as anyone out there. That's what Fury said. Fury's the only person saying that. Underestimate him and I'll be chinned, that's for sure. That's what Fury said. Nobody believes Fury when he says that. Tom Schwartz is the apparently the fourth best heavyweight in Germany. So it is being said. If Fury goes through with his threat, then clearly there are fights that we want to see that won't be made. There are fights with the likes of Anthony, the landlord, Joshua. That won't be made. Fury has already declined fighting Joshua in the past. Fury believes it's a 50-50 fight. Fury is the man who claims to be lineal champion. But yet, if you check my documentary, you will see that he tested positive for drugs both before and after his fight with Vladimir Klitschko. Thus, a very strong argument can be made that at the time he fought Klitschko, he should have been he should have been banned for PED and recreational drug use. So the lineal talk is quite foolish. 
nonsensical. Added that to the fact that Fury pulled out of two fights, two rematch fights, two rematches with Klitschko. In one of them, I think he hurt his ankle, said he hurt his ankle. And in the other one, he said he had serious issues, medical issues that needed urgent medical attention. Could that, could that issue have been drug addiction? Like I said, he should never have been allowed in the ring against Klitschko due to his drug usage both prior and after the Klitschko fight. He should have been banned already. I will leave a link to my documentary at the end of this video. Go check it out. Do I believe Fury that he may quit? I believe he may quit. Fury is not the most stable mentally of individuals. I wish him well. I don't think he's going to quit. But Fury could go in any direction. That's for sure. We know that. He's already proved that to us. I hope he sticks around long enough to fight Joshua. Anthony, the landlord Joshua. Will he ever rematch Wilder? I hope he does. But as we see, he never gave Klitschko the rematch which Klitschko deserved. So I really, really don't know. I just hope he stays in a good mental place or relatively good mental place. And if it pleases him, sticks around to fight Anthony Joshua. I don't know if asking for a rematch with, with, with Wilder is too much, but we certainly as a boxing viewer would love to see that. I wish him well on his journey and uh, that's all we can do. Wish him well. I'll leave the link at the end of this video to my documentary, Fury, the Myth, Mythbuster, Mythbusters. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, like, share and comment. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And I'm out. Get well. Get well, Fury. Get well soon, lad.